for the beef industry, a lot of our greenhouse gas emissions come in the form of, of methane, what we call enteric methane emissions. That's a, just a byproduct of, of the natural fermentation process that occurs in the rumen. Uh, the rumen is, is the first compartment of a four-chambered stomach. So that's what ruminant animals are, and it's a, just a large fermentation vat where they take energy or, or feedstuffs that we can't use, so complex carbohydrates, chiefly cellulose, from plants, and they convert it into usable end products, right, for them, so to meet their growth needs or maintenance needs or anything like that. But that methane is produced as a byproduct, and when it's eructated out, most of it comes out of the front end of the animal, 90 to 96%. It does go into the atmosphere where it is a potent greenhouse gas, or more specifically, it traps a lot of energy in the atmosphere before it's broken down. It has a relatively short lifetime in the atmosphere compared to carbon dioxide. The, the key for us as an industry, as it relates to methane, is that, that if you just think of it as its structure, carbon and then four hydrogens, that carbon, right, it's an energy loss from the diet that that animal could, if we could retain it, improve its performance. So by reducing methane emissions, we might be able to A, improve the animal's performance, and B, for society at large, reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and overall environmental impact.